Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Here in this video, we are going to see one important theorem of standard 9 mathematics that is as per NCERT textbook theorem 7.2. The statement of the theorem is this angles opposite to equal sides of an isoscale triangle are equal. We know what is the meaning of isoscale triangle? How can we define isoscale triangle? Isoscale triangle is such a triangle in which any two sides are of equal measure or we can say any two sides are congruent. Such triangle is called as isoscale triangle. So we have to prove that angles opposite to equal side of isoscale triangle are equal. Let us begin with data. In isoscale triangle ABC, what is given? Triangle ABC, which is isoscale triangle, in which these two sides are of equal measure, that is AB is equal to AC, and we have to prove that the angle opposite to AB and angle opposite to AC are also equal. Means we have to prove that angle B is equal to angle C. Let us begin with the proof. Let us see in this figure. First of all, we have triangle ABC given in which AB is equal to AC. It is given that AB is equal to AC. So we can see that this side and this sides are of equal measure. Now, first of all, we will draw one of the angle bisector that is angle bisector of angle A. So we can say let us draw the bisector of angle A which intersect this BC at point D. It is an angle bisector means I can say that this angle and this angle are of equal measure. AD is the angle bisector of angle A means this angle A that is BAC will be divided into two equal measure angle that we can say angle BAD this one and angle CAD this this both are of equal measure such a way we have draw AB which is angle bisector of angle A so first of all I will write it draw the bisector of angle A and let D we know we have draw which intersect this BC at point D so we can say let B that is let D be the point be the point of intersection of intersection of this bisector intersection of this bisector of of that is angle A and BC. So in short we can say that I have draw this AD line segment AB so we can say draw the bisector of angle A and let D is the point be the intersection of this bisector of angle A and BC means it touches the line segment BC at point D in such a way that that we can write it in such a way that B dash D dash C this is the condition that you can see that it intersect BC at point D so we can say B dash D dash C so D point is in between B and C now let us try to think about the correspondence between these two triangle let us think about in triangle BAD and triangle CAD let us think about the correspondence of these two triangle triangle BAD this one and triangle CAD this one let us think about the correspondence of these two triangle as we draw AD then it divides triangle ABC into two different triangles so let us take the correspondence between triangle BAD and CAD now first of all 
what is given in the data that is ab is equal to ac so for this triangle the side ab is equal to for this triangle of side ac so i should write it that is ab is equal to ac how do we write it then we can say as per data it is given in the data that ab is equal to ac now we draw this ad which is the angle bisector of this angle a means i can write it angle bad is equal to angle cad as it is an angle bisector these two angles are of equal measure so i can write angle bad this angle is equal to angle cad angle cad how is it then we can write it by construction what do we construct that we have constructed line segment ad which is a bisector of this angle so we have written that it is by construction now ad for this particular triangle as we saw ab is equal to ac angle bad is equal to angle cad and this ad is a common side for both so i can write it for this triangle also ad is a common and for this triangle also ad is the common so i can write it that is ad is equal to ad how do we write it we'll write it in a bracket that is common side of both triangles it is a common side of both the triangle so here you can see for this triangle one side for this two triangle one side one angle and one more side that is common side are congruent means as per s a s we can say that as per s a s rule we can say that this two triangle triangle b a d is congruent to triangle c a D. by s a s rule we can say that these two triangles for this triangle this side this side that is side side are equal this angle this angle and this is the common side so by s a s rule we can say that both the triangles are congruent triangle if it is like that then corresponding part of the corresponding triangle so accordingly we can say that that is angle i can write it so angle a b d is equal to angle a c d that is this angle this angle and angle a c d these two angles are also equal because we can write it since they are corresponding angles of corresponding angles of congruent triangles and that is the thing that we have to prove angle that is angle abd for this triangle and angle acd for this two triangle are of equal measure so therefore i can write it angle b is equal to angle c so we can say that in isosceles triangle if two sides are of equal measure then their opposite angle opposite angle of this side is angle c and opposite uh, angle of this side is angle b that both are also of the equal measure so this is how simply you can prove this theorem